Hello, this is City Report. My name is Larissa. I'm from Russia. I love traveling and creating films. Today I will tell you about the fantastic city where I was born, about St. Petersburg. I will share some interesting facts about this Russian city. For example, what month is this city especially beautiful? What is the best place to enjoy the beauty of the city? Where can you find the charming locations to relax? St. Petersburg is the cultural capital and the second largest city in Russia, on the shore of the Gulf of Finland on the Baltic Sea. This city is an important economic, scientific and cultural center of Russia. International, creative, energetic and cultural place which combines the luxury of royal palaces and the most fun parties, centuries-old history and openness to new ideas. In addition, it is a city with a contemporary feel. In the city center, the rules prohibit the construction of high-rise buildings. Skyscrapers are located far from the historical center of the city. The highest in Russia and Europe is Lachta Center, with its 462 meters. There are more than 342 bridges within the city limits of St. Petersburg. You can see bridges decorated with statues, lanterns, lines, horses, things and griffins. Thanks to the web of canals, St. Petersburg is often called Venice of the North. The picturesque bridges in the middle of the night are a must-see for all visitors to the city. Summers are warm, humid and short, while winters are long, moderately cold and humid. Pay attention to the forecast and always keep an umbrella in your bag. St. Petersburg is very beautiful in the summer, especially while there is white night season in June. St. Petersburg is cosmopolitan, culturally diverse, with a rich mix of culture and languages. The population is more than 5 million. Most Russians know it as Peter. It is one of the most well-known romantic places. The city offers plenty of enjoyable things to do and see. I will tell you about the 15 most fascinating places to visit in St. Petersburg. Let's start. You can admire hundreds of museums that are located in historical buildings. The State Russian Museum is the world's largest collection dedicated to Russian fine art, including painting and sculpture. Here you can learn the history, all genres and schools of Russian art over more than a thousand years. Mikhailovsky Garden is a green oasis in the historical center of St. Petersburg. This unique monument of landscape design with more than 300 years of history. The park offers a beautiful view of Russian Museum. Mikhailovsky Garden is a combination of two different gardening styles. Now, it is an object of historical and cultural heritage of federal significance. Enjoy a beautiful walk through this park to relax a bit or just sit on one of the benches. This is the perfect place to get some fresh air and take a walk under the huge old trees. The mosaic courtyard is a wonderful hidden facility it is an outstanding example of transformation of an ordinary city yard. Walls, fascinating sculptures and even a playground are made from mosaics. It is one of the best outdoor mosaic walks in St. Petersburg. The mosaic courtyard 
was created by enthusiasm and love for the art. This charming place has created the artist of Russia, Vladimir Lubenko, and his students from the small academy of arts. There is the mosaic fountain, where you can enjoy the mosaics and relax. The courtyard appears in all its glory with sunshine and at sunset, when the fountain mosaics have lights which come on. This place is very popular for art lovers from all over the world. Peter the Great founded the Peter and Paul Fortress in 1703. The church is the oldest cathedral in the city. You can find several notable buildings around the church. There are sandy beaches near the fortress walls. In summer, the beach is very popular in St. Petersburg. The other impressive things on the island are breathtaking views of the complexes of palaces on the other shore of the Gulf of Finland. Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin is the greatest Russian poet, prose writer of the Romantic era and the founder of modern Russian literature. The Pushkin Apartment Museum is a memorial museum located on the Moika River embankment. The poet's apartment was recreated in its original form based on historical documents and memories of Pushkin's friends. Subsurfing in historic rivers and canals, in St. Petersburg, water is a part of the city attractions. The total length of the canals is 300 kilometers. In the city center, there are attractive granite embankments from which you can admire the most majestic buildings of the city. Subsurfing is a great way to see the city. Enjoy the outstanding architecture of the city from the water canals. Start your day with relaxation, doing joy in nature and the power of water. You can enjoy the sunset surrounded by amazing palaces and bridges. Kazan Cathedral has an impressive neoclassical exterior colonnade, richly decorated interior with numerous columns. It is also known as the Cathedral of Our Lady of Kazan. It is the largest cathedral in the city, devoted to one of the most venerated icons in Russia, Our Lady of Kazan. The cathedral gives the impression of a palatial hall with numerous sculptures and icons created by the best Russian artists. St. Asak's Cathedral is a major attraction in the city and the third highest cupola cathedral in the world. The cathedral's gilded dome is decorated with statues of angels and rises 101.5 meters. The white dove under the peak symbolizes the Holy Spirit. Granites and marbles for the interior were gathered from all parts of Russia. The cathedral is richly decorated with semi-precious stones and sculptures. 400 steps lead to the best observation deck in the city. The roof of the cathedral has a picturesque view. You can admire this vista also by night. The Republic of Cats Culture and Museum Complex is located a few minute walks from St. Asak's Cathedral. This is a coffee shop and gift shop. Here you can learn more about cats. This relaxing place with a charming decor where you can spend time with cute, friendly cats. Book your tickets in advance on their website. 
The Etage Loft Project is a cultural center located in a former bakery building. The old interior was preserved. The project team created a fashionable space with shops, workshops and exhibition halls. It hosts concerts, events, play markets and art galleries. Here you can find exhibitions of photographers, artists and sculptors from all over the world. There are many parks and squares in St. Petersburg. Izmailovsky Garden, also called the Bar Theatre Garden, is located on the banks of the Fontanka River. This is one of the oldest parks in the city with plants, many of which are more than 100 years old. Here you can admire the art objects, the most charming of which is the St. Petersburg Angel. This is a very beautiful monument dedicated to the older generation of the city, who lived a long, honest life and preserved the love of life, interest in people and intelligence. The St. Petersburg Angel has become an unofficial symbol of the city. The Mariinsky Theatre is a premium and historical ballet and opera theatre. The name was given in honor of the wife of Tsar Alexander II, Empress Maria Alexandrovna. Today it is home to the Mariinsky Ballet, the Mariinsky Opera and the Mariinsky Orchestra. The St. Petersburg Ballet School is recognized as one of the best in the world. The traditions of the Russian classical school were passed down from generation to generation. St. Petersburg is the fabulous city. There are several options to admire it from observation decks. A magnificent view opens from the roof right in the historical center of the city. For example, from the roof of St. Isaac's Cathedral, where is located the Colonnade Alley. Rooftop restaurants offer stunning panoramic views and terraces. For example, from the Café Zinger on Nevsky, you can enjoy a spectacular view of the Kazan Cathedral. In addition, you can find a special tour with a guide who offers a rooftop with unique locations. The St. Petersburg Metro is one of the largest in Russia. Metro stations are beautifully decorated with marbles, bronze and sculptures. They are made in a unique style. Some of them look like palace halls. The city has unique geology and metro stations are located deep underground. For example, Admiralty Station is 86 meters underground. Try the atmosphere of a typical Soviet period at Kvartirka Soviet Cafe. Experience the dishes in a unique setting with Soviet furniture, books, newspapers and traditional food. Do you want to travel back in time in a truly authentic and cozy space? You can try tasty dishes from Soviet period. For schmack is an unusual cold herring-based starter. The most popular Soviet soup with noodles is a typical dish from the south of Russia. One of the most unusual salad is a mysterious herring under a forecoat. You can try the tea served in a real samovar. St. Petersburg has a significant historical and cultural heritage. This is one of the most amazing cities with fascinating history, beautiful architecture with UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It is a charming Russian city, which is steeped in history. You can enjoy the architectural complexes 
and outstanding individual monuments of architecture, history and culture. This is the place you want to go back to. Thank you for watching this video. This is Larissa and this is my city report from St. Petersburg. On the YouTube channel City Report, you can learn more about amazing cities with the locals. Bye-bye!